Variable inheritance. Some cool stuff, eh? Hello, beautiful people. It's Ajit Dehami back again with another tutorial. In this one, we are going to talk about variable inheritance, what that is, how that works. Let's talk about that. But before that, let me remind you this is the screen that we had designed from this is the screen that we had designed using the color variables and string variables and uh, how we did that it is already there in the playlist from part 1 and part 2 so i'm not going to start all over again for this one but we already had assigned the colors all the colors in this screen and all the strings now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this screen and place it right here so you can see that when we place it in this frame you can see that the color is changed to dark mode and the language is english which was already set to english i think so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this screen to this one and you can see that the, the language changed to german and the dark mode is still persists and i'm going to take it to spanish you can see the language is changed i'm going to i'm going to grab all of these screens and duplicate them into oh I can't do that sorry so similarly I'm gonna drag this one duplicate it to light mode you can see English language and light mode and similarly for German and light mode and for Spanish and light mode it all works and this is what we call variable inheritance the variable that are assigned in this specific frame or section are being inherited by this screen right here as you can see on this layer we have set the colors variable to dark mode and the words variable to English mode. So whatever screen we put here is going to be turned into the dark mode and the English language. How did we do that? So let's see. So let's grab this one first. And as you can see, this is just a normal screen. We are not using any variable inheritance. I'm going to, I'm going to define a new section right here. And when you see this section, you can see that there is no variable button right here because there is no screen defined inside this section so what you're going to do is you're going to first have to drag this screen right here and place it in the section first now if you click it you can see that there is this cute little button up here now here and if you click on it you can see the colors and words are selectable but even before that you have to make sure that the screen that you dragged here should be set in default mode what do I mean by that? So if I zoom in and I select all the strings right here and click on the change variable mode, you can see that the words that I have assigned is auto, which is by default. If I had defined the words to be English by default, it would affect the inheritance of that frame. So for now, if I see the colors, the color is defined light mode that was by default I didn't enforce light mode by selecting this one now if I select the section and go here I can change the colors to dark mode and similarly I can change the words to German and if I drag it out from the section now you can see that the section will still remember the inherited property from that specific frame so let's test it again I'm gonna drag it again inside that frame and you can see the frame remembers that had inherited the properties from that specific frame that we had dragged earlier remembers all the properties and is affecting all the frames that we will define or you know drag it inside what not to do let's discuss that one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define a new section right here and this time I'm going to select magazine and stories and go to words and force the string variable to be changed to English which doesn't actually show any change now if I drag it inside this section and change the properties of this section words to Spanish and maybe colors to dark mode you can see only the word that I hadn't messed up is working correctly but the words that I had forced to remain in English are still in English so if I go here and put these words to auto it will work fine just the way we want it to be so yep that's it from this tutorial make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and please if you have any questions please write them in the comments below I'll make sure to address them in the next video that I'm gonna be coming up with and yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.